What do you call a woman with a frog on her head? Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 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 people, welcome back to the Hardware Review, and we are back with Geekbait. This time, we are looking at the Tengu RDA. Now, yesterday, we did the Aegis 2-in-1 Swan Kit. Now, the Tengu comes in the kit, so what we thought we'd do is we split it up, do the mods um, yesterday, and we'd do the RDA today. I will leave a link down in the descriptions to the Aegis 2-in-1 Swan Kit, and vice versa. Right then. We'll have a little look at the packaging. Obviously, I didn't get this in a separate package. It came in the kit itself. But as you can see, you get all them goodies actually in the packaging as well. You get your, some spare laces. You get a spare drip tip. And you also get a 510 adapter. Let's have a little look at this baby. It is a 24mm RDA. It has got a 6mm juice well in it. And I've got the matte black one. It does come in a number of colours. I will just put that up above my shoulder so you can see it. Right, let's break it down like we normally do. Let's go top to bottom. Like I did say, you do get two drip tips. You get the uh, the autumn one and you get a Delrim uh, drip tip on there. And also a 510 connector. So as we look down, you've got like a little bit of a rim that goes all the way around. You can't take the top cap off. It's just like, a, a, like an indent that goes all the way around. Um, you can see your airflow. It is honeycombed airflow. We'll talk about that in a second as well. It's a little bit different. Um, and then you've got like a, uh, unless that's a Tengu, I don't know if that's like a monster called a Tengu. I'm not quite sure, but you've got like a little monster at the bottom. Then if we have a look at the bottom of the RDA, um, it does tell you that it is the Tengu. Don't vape in a bin and all that good stuff. Um, and that is your Swank pin. Right, let's have a look at this airflow. Now, inside the actual top cap, it's got a, a, a ring around it, and the way it works is, as you screw it, obviously, onto your mod itself, you can see through it now where all the little honeycomb uh, holes are. Now, what you have to do is you need to, like, if you're going to take the RDA off itself, you sort of pull it to yourself, and as you can see, it shuts off. There you go, and then it opens back up again and shuts off. And then if you go too far, it'll take the, the actual RDA off. We'll talk about that in the pros and cons. And that's mirrored on both sides. So let's have a little look inside the top cap itself. And as you can see inside the top cap, you've got your bell. Um, and you can see your honeycomb airflow around the sides. And then there's like two little uh, knobbly bits. See if I can get nipple in. <laughs> two little nipples. That's twice in two days I've got nipple into a review. That sits flush on the deck of your RDA. It sits in there so you can actually move your airflow. Now, if I just take this ring out, you'll be able to see how it basically works. So, obviously, the ring sits inside, and as it sits into them little grooves, you move it, and that actually moves inside your RDA itself. Right, let's have a little look at the deck. As you can see, it's got a gold-plated um, positive connection, and they sit at the top. And then at the sides... Um, that's where obviously your negative is and it sort of sticks out at an angle. It's like a velocity style deck and Like I said, there is um, a six mil juice well in there. They are um, Just flathead screws. No problems with them at all When you do actually put your coils in on these it, because it, the way it's sort of angled it does sort of like Distort your coil a little bit. You'll be able to see that in the build section when we do that But it is easy to rectify and then on top of the actual um, positive pin, or the positive uh, post, uh, you'll see that it's sort of like at an angle. So that's when you are dripping on it, it'll hit that and then go down either side evenly. Now when you swank in, it's actually coming through the centre pin at the bottom, and then obviously dispersed through the sides. Like I did tell you, the has got the them like little indents where the nipples sit in, so you can actually move your airflow. Two big O-rings at the bottom. I've had no problems with leakage with this at all. So let's go and put a build in this baby.
pros and the cons. Let's go to the cons first, like we normally do. And the first con is the airflow. Now, obviously, you screw your RDA on. The top cap fits on in them two little grooves where the nipples sit in. Got nipples in again. Now, that's how the airflow moves. So, if you push it away from you as you're tightening the RDA, that leaves it wide open. But as you're trying to adjust the airflow to close it down, you pull it towards yourself. And if you go too far, or if it's a little bit tighter, it unscrews your RDA. Not a very good idea, that. If you, That's the bit... Obviously, that's where you're opening it to make sure that it's wide open, then you're pulling it to yourself. It's a little bit hard. What I can't understand why they didn't do is where the top cap is. Why didn't they put the airflow in there and then move it around with that? It would have been a lot easier. Again, another con with the airflow. Now, with it wide open, we'll just push that wide open. That is just completely and utterly really airy. Now, I normally have my airflow wide open, but I, even I can't stand that. It's just like there's no airflow at all. It's just like there's a great big hole in the... It's just going in like that. There's nothing. There's no restriction at all. So, obviously, I have to have it shut off. And I have to have it quite... See, there you go. It went off again. I have to have it quite a bit... That does your head in that. Because you're trying to just dial it in and see where it is. And then it's undoing. So, I have to have it quite tight. And it's undoing it as you're doing it. That's better, that's just a little bit too tight for me. A lot better, but like I said, you've got to dial it in. And that's probably half closed. And I'm, and obviously then it's only half going onto the coil. It is mirrored on either side, like I said, but then you're only getting... And then one of the actual, if you get it all the way down to the last hole, it's not even hitting the coil. But yeah, it's a massively wide open airflow if you have it wide open and you've really got to dial it in. And when you're dialing it in, you're normally undoing the RDA. Let's go on to some positives. It is really well made apart from like the airflow sort of side of it. The fit and finish of it is really good, should I say. The deck is so simple to build, in, build on. It is a 24mm, 6mm um, juice well on there. Um, at the minute, I've obviously I've got it in as an RDA. I've also used it in, in the Swank as well. Absolutely brilliant. That comes underneath your pin. When you're dripping on it, you've got like a little, um, how can I say, it's like a little diamond as you saw, and you, you drip it on it and it goes down either side. I was going to say cliff at some point there, but yeah, it, it drips down to it. Very simple to build on. That velocity style deck, you've got your two T-posts at the bottom, but these are slightly angled. It does distort your coils a little bit, but it is quite easy to manoeuvre back in, as you saw on the build video. So if somebody's is wanting to get maybe into um, a dual coil, this is maybe something for him to pick up. A very easy deck. Now, what about the flavour? What about the clouds? Decent clouds, and I've got no problem with the flavour. I've, I've had worse and I've had better, but there's no problem with the flavour at all. I do like it. There's nothing wrong with it. It looks really nice. The airflow, like I said, could have been sorted out. Decent flavour, decent clouds. And it works really well with the Swank kit. Like I said, I've left a, 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 a little link there for you to... I can't remember what I was saying then. A little link to the in the descriptions to the Aegis 2-in-1 Swank kit, which this comes with. Now, big shout out to New Vaping. I will leave um, their web address just down there. And also, they've given us 20% off code. I will stick that up there or up there, somewhere around about here. Uh, go and check their website out. And thank you very much for sending this out for review. Well, this has been another review by Little Bro. If you've liked the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the subscribe buttons in the corner. Give it a little press and get me to that new magic number. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go hit me up, people. And what's the one last thing to say, people? Keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.